Hey everyone, this is my good friend Kyra Heron. Oh um, yeah, the Kyra Heron. The Kyra Heron. They are a film student and we're going to talk about how we pre-produced an Amazon Prime feature film. I grew up in Orlando, Florida, the mecca of themed entertainment. It might just be an ego thing, I don't know. I've <laughs> always loved having attention and being creative. Yeah. First I did theater, I draw, I do like dance, all sorts of stuff. But then one day I happened upon iCarly. I kept seeing Dan Schneider everywhere on all his shows. He actually was your inspiration. It's so bad. <laughs> I did not listen, I was like six or seven, so I kept seeing his name everywhere as executive producer. And I was like, that sounds like a big name. I want to be that. Did I know what an executive producer did? No. Yeah. But I just knew that that's what I wanted to be. And I would tell everybody, I'd be like, I'm going to be an executive producer. I'm going to be executive producer. I yes. was thinking the other day about how we met. We Black were, Box. yeah, we were in a club, um, pilot screenwriters club called Black Box. Um, I somehow accidentally landed myself as a... You were the executive producer. I was the executive yeah, CJ producer. Yeah, was the showrunner. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, wow, these seniors, they're so cool. Little yeah. did I know. We were in the same exact group, doing the same <laughs> yeah. exact thing. Uh, Meeting Katie was actually kind of interesting, too, because yeah. she was uh, a staff writer during Black Box on mm. project. And then my professor, she was like, okay, guys, you know, we're going to partner with a, a grad class. Do you want to partner up? I'm over here let me know and I did and she was like oh I'm gonna part you with Katie Morin and I'm yeah. like I don't know who this girl is but okay <laughs> and we've been seeing each other for the past like week and a half two weeks at mm. Black Box so when she walked in I was like oh my oh, god it's Katie small it's world Katie. Yeah, yeah yeah I she asked me to be the director of photography for <laughs> her thing which I don't know if every film school is like this but the hierarchy status is you do not ask a sophomore in college to be the director of photography photography for yeah. our senior graduate thesis. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I didn't know better than to say no. So I was like, yeah, okay, I'll do it. From having to do pre-production of the photography side mm -hmm. is when Kyra and I got really close to each other. So by the time it was our winter quarter and I had finished writing the final draft of Happy People and I was like, this is not a normal film that I've ever done before. Like there's so much producing stuff that I have no idea how I'm going to get a hold of. I don't and I just use the people that I know. I think you just randomly texted me. Well, here's the thing. I remember because I was like freaking out because I was like, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do this summer. I haven't prepared for anything. Like, and then I was in the dining hall getting food and I saw your text and I was like, oh, okay. okay. You were the only one that I knew that was even remotely interested in producing. Okay. So I was like, yeah. I'll let you do everything. We had to juggle getting a hold of a whole school. So much of it is filmed in a school. I think it was at Max. 50 extras on a day or 30 extras on a day. I think closer to 50 to 60. Yeah, we had to get child extras. We had to get adult extras from the AA programs. Elderly. We had to figure out how to properly budget something. That was just stuff that I had never done before because all of my films have been like the pocket money that I have yeah. has been like, okay, I've got, you know, 25 bucks. We can, we can work around this. Yeah. But working with people who wanted to actually get professional gear and professional life and all this stuff just to give it the extra oomph. Mm -hmm. We were like, okay, yeah, we can give as much money as we can possibly get, but we shouldn't let this be a restraint to filmmaking. And even then, like, do you remember the first time that we were filming one of the car scenes? Like, we built the rig out of wood. Yes. <laughs> we were, yeah. Um, and the yeah. actor showed up and he was like, oh, we should yeah. not be doing this. <laughs> yeah. I would never do, <laughs> never allow that again. There were so but... many scenes while filming that like, I've just never been in the mindset of like, oh, we should not be. <laughs> Should not we should not be doing this. Yeah. This is a scary idea. Yeah. Back to our budget, we had managed to raise three or four thousand dollars, which is three or four thousand dollars more than I've ever had. But I know on a typical film set, I mean that's no. for crafty. Yeah. I know. Not even, yeah. Not even working with that, we we're like, okay, where can we cut corners? What can we work with what we have? Yeah, I mean, happy people it taught me a lot. Yep. A lot, a lot, a lot. When we first started pre-production. I was going through like this rough spot with like one of my roommates. Mm -hmm. So I was very like, like emotionally stressed from that. So I was trying to keep myself busy. I just did not realize how, like I knew it was going to be like a lot of work, but I didn't realize it was going to be like a lot, a lot of work. So yeah. like you, Drew, Aiden, like picking up on stuff, <laughs> like was not managing very well. Yeah. Helped 
immensely, but like I had to run around with my printer and yes. then get all of the child extras with their parents to sign the crew form. And then right after that, be like, all right, cool, let's go shoot, blah, blah, blah. Like, just like immediately go into AD mode. And I don't know how I did that for multiple days in the heat. I had to like work all during that day, like our 12 hour shoots. And then also in the time in between working on the 12 hour shoots, prep for the next day mm -hmm. as the AD, because I was the only AD, I didn't have an AD team. If I had any other time after that, then I would be prepping for the future because there were still some locations that we didn't have locked and still things that just weren't figured yet. And then whatever remaining time I had after that, I would sleep and I would eat. They were not like hoteled out. No. <laughs> it was basement. like summer camp in my basement. Yeah. yeah, we set up three different bunk beds yeah. to house the entire crew just in my basement. Yeah, at most there was like five people in like this size room. One bathroom. One guest bathroom. There was one time I got food poisoning. Me and Leah, we went out to go eat at this restaurant. She got sick during the day and I was like, damn, that sucked. But then it hit me that night. Uh -huh. So I woke up, I had to go. So I run to go to the bathroom bathroom and Aiden Kelly is in there. Oh, like, my oh God. no. And if you know one thing about Aiden Kelly, she got some long poops. <laughs> it takes 30 minutes to an hour to use the bathroom. And I was like, there's no way I'm gonna get in there <laughs> without like. Early on, um, our casting director, he auditioned like three or 500 different people. Crazy. For it. Yeah. But every single person knew that it wasn't a paid gig. Every person knew that it was a feature film. Yeah. Like all my family and I included were all like, why would anyone want to do this for free? Like you're giving up so much time so much effort Fun. why would you do yeah. this for free and every single person's like oh it's not up for discussion like i'm doing this because i love this and i love the opportunity <laughs> we're doing this because we love the art of doing it yeah they're like professional actors that still gave up their time yeah such an honor i i've never been through so much stress in my life i went home early because like my brain was Gone. But it was to the point where I would be like setting up the call sheet and then my brain would just like ignore words. There's a couple of times where we had to call on the actors because I made a mistake. <laughs> And we're like, hey, so you're actually supposed to be called in at 5 p.m. today, and yeah. it's like 3 p.m. Like, oh, oh uh, yeah. There's a saying that says, feature films turn you gray. I wholeheartedly believe that. Like, I think all of us turned gray and ghoulish. Yeah. Just trudging towards the finish line. Right. Mia and Aiden were the last two to leave. Mm -hmm. And they're like, hey, do you want to go out? Like, do you want to make this a thing? And I was like, no. <laughs> just, just leave. Just leave. Just leave. <laughs> but I, I would never trade that experience. Experience, honestly because happy people taught me my limit of where I can go right and I can do a lot and I always say like you know what if we made happy people in six months I can do anything and I've really just it's so incredible what you're able to do when you're pushing time constraints budgetary constraints limited resources and being forced into that position where you it's kind of like fight or flight where it's like okay we know that we have to film on July 5th yeah how are we going to get to July 5th yeah yeah. And Literally. make sure that it runs smoothly. Yeah. I remember we were looking at so many different schools and then Oh my god. The week before we were filming, one school dropped out and then another school was like, Hey, you can you film it. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Rearranging a whole location on its own is crazy, but rearranging a location where you need fifty extras in that area yeah. is even more pressure. Yeah. But we yeah. pulled it off. It ended up being better than what we could have asked for. Shout out Amazing to Lincoln Charter. School. Thank you guys. Amazing school. If we had never Ever gotten a hold of Lincoln Charter and accidentally fell into that place, then we wouldn't have, you know, as many extras as we did or no. as much help as we did. No. It was such a happy accident. Yeah, because most of the extras were kids that went to that school that were in yeah. the theater program. Yeah. Where we had to like do an exterior at a grocery store. You wanted to use Harris Teeter originally. Yep. I've never dealt with like having to approach like chains and like big corporations right. before to figure out like filming and all of that. So that was a whole learning curve. I think I spent like three Three weeks searching for a grocery store that would work and then there's this one grocery store that I kept passing by like every time I forgot what it was called but I was like let me go ask. So I walk inside, ask the manager. She's like, oh yeah, yeah. You could totally film here. Our I remember would love that. that. Yeah. yeah, I was like, okay, <laughs> thank you. I remember <laughs> filming. They were like the nicest people on set. So too. Like, nice. Here's some yeah. free bags. Here's some. Yes, they were loving it. Like, do you want us to like film in an aisle? Like, do you want to add this? And we're like, 
Thank you. It was five minutes before we were supposed to film this huge party scene oh, yeah. with a bunch of extras. It was the only day that we could film it. Five minutes before the lead actor's call time, extras are already there and the second lead calls me sobbing and she's like, hey, I'm so sorry. I just got into a car wreck and I can't make it. I have to go to the hospital. Yeah. Shit. What do we do? <laughs> How are we going to have the scene without a main character in the scene? And so we just kind of like improvised and worked around and I'm so glad that we went that route instead of what would have been if we had to say okay every extra out let's <laughs> let's We're reschedule I would be remiss if I didn't mention the fact that it is on Amazon Prime I'm I'm so grateful that we were able to actually swing that. Numerous um, distributors reached out after they had seen the, the YouTube video and I, I blasted it on every social media. And so it's on a couple different smaller distribution pages, um, but Amazon Prime has actually made some revenue back, which is crazy. Every time that we would say like, it's gonna be an Amazon Prime original, everyone yeah. would be like, yeah, right, no shot. And then we actually put it on Amazon. Uh, there's there's specific workarounds and different web pages and different little niche contacts. and there's multiple ways to put it on but we put it on yeah the fact that we get to say as 20 watt odd year olds that we have a not only an over two hour long feature film but a two hour long feature film that is monetized is crazy our school has just recently offered to pay for its festival run going from being discouraged to make feature films to now saying how can we support you making your feature films and how can we push you past the next step and all the support that I've gotten from you guys and the school. I feel bad because I talk a lot about sometimes a school can discourage you from trying something ambitious. Yeah. I promise you, I do not go to a bad school. I no, love no. my school yeah. very much. There's a lot of students and at the end of the day, a school is a business. Yes. And if they have no proof that you're capable of doing something ambitious, <laughs> lo logically, why would they let you do yeah. that? Yeah. But you know, once we showed them that we are more than capable, mm -hmm. they're like, oh, Oh, yeah 100 percent will support you so it has been such a great support system and i'm so proud of every single person on the 200 named person credit roll all of my credits prior have been like jacob boatsman jacob boatsman jacob boatsman, <laughs> jacob boatsman but now it's like over 200 different names in the credits what is that theater uh the show must go on the show must go on just keep pushing keep doing what you're passionate about and the money will come rolling in right after you know the yep. show must go on at the end of the day you got to make something and it may not turn out exactly as you wanted but just keep pushing you know learn to adapt on the fly, learn how to collaborate with others, and it'll come together. It'll come together. Yeah. Next, we have all of the um, production side of things. And then after that is post-production. Let me know if you want me to cover anything else. I try to get back to as many people as I possibly can. I promise I read all your guys' comments. Thank you so, so, so much for the support. Um, thank you guys for watching. Yeah!